Guys, Ed Walters here. In the next edition on the How to Play series, we are greenside and we are out of the rough. So, in relation to the um, episodes one, two, and three on getting it out of the rough, that was all done around the side of the fairways, missed fairways, approach shots towards the green, getting back in play. Well, this one is about getting it on the green from this sort of tricky lie. Uh, and as you can see, the ball there, as the, the photograph comes in, is quite some way sort of tucked into this lie here. You know, if I was to put the club in there, you know, you can't really see anything above maybe in there. So, as you can see from the, uh, the, the face on view there behind the flag, I've not really got the greatest amount of room to work with. I've probably got about 10 paces before the green, and then I've got about eight paces then to the flag. Now, the green is fairly big. So this isn't a question of trying to be too cute and get it in close to the green. This is about getting it on the green and giving yourself a putt, plain and simple. It's very easy to try and get sucked into getting it close and we'd like to get it close, but if it comes out close, it's a bit of a bonus. Let's just get it on the green. Let's give ourselves an opportunity to hole a putt. It could be a par five and it could give you a birdie putt. It could be a par four, par three, and it could be a par putt. But at worst case scenario, don't walk away taking six and seven walk away with a bogey. So I've got my most lofty club from this line, got 58 degrees of wedge, and I'm gonna open the face a little bit. I'm gonna play it a little bit like a bunker shot. I wanna get the club to slide through underneath the ball, go through the thick grass, and I wanna get it up. So I wanna try and flight it a little bit higher. I wanna land it as soft as possible, but more importantly, I wanna land it on the green. So from here, I've got the flags just in this direction here, as we can see. So I'm gonna approach it as normal, and then I'm gonna open that club face a little bit i'm going to work my way a little bit around so i'm opening the stance on there as well i want a little bit of weight in there a bit of pressure on this front side and i'm going to play a little bit like a bunker shot so i'm going to get a little bit of wrist set i've got my hands a little bit lower just to help me get a little bit more elevation from this as well i've got the ball slightly above the feet which is why i've gone right down to almost the steel these fingers are on the steel of the shaft there because with the ball being above my feet by a few inches if i'm down here it's very easy for me to hit the ground too far behind the ball and then the club won't really do anything other than bounce up and maybe even over the top of it so i've fed the club face that little bit open i'm gripping down right at the bottom so the right hand's on the steel a little bit i'm going to keep my pressure forward i'm going to play hands fraction lower play a little bit like a bunker shot and just hold this face up and if we get this thing onto the green close great but let's just get it in play give ourselves an opportunity here we go So that one's come out, and as you can see, it's come out a little bit short. So it's on the very front edge of the green, it came out really nicely. Let's drop another one in there as well. So I'm gonna play this one with a little bit more sort of speed going through it, because that one came out really soft, and that tells me something that you're not gonna find out. It tells me that I can get this club quite some way below the golf ball doing it this way. So, and again, feel it in there. Let's play that bunker shot to try and get it out there and out onto the green, give ourselves a putt. So that one's come out much better. It's landed pretty much hole high, quite softly, and it's not in bad shape there. So from that point of view, we've escaped really nicely. We've got actually quite a good chance of saving and up and down from where we were in what is generally not a very nice place. But guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you've got any comments, anything that you would like to know how to play, post your comments in the box below. I really wanna hear from you guys. The more comments that you put in there, the more I can help you as we go forward. As always, click the thumb, let me know that you're enjoying the content, give it a like there, share it amongst your friends as well, don't be shy. If you've subscribed to the channel, brilliant. If not, click the button in the bottom of the screen there, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.